Anime Gaming is back with another gaming video. Today we're looking into a new Project Subway Simulator game called Back in Service. It was released on Monday. It is a still work in progress, so it'll be a few bugs. And now we're gonna go to the apartment, and I'm gonna show you how it looks. We here we got the like vault pieces from Hutchins guy, I guess. This is orange. There's got like, like it reminds me of Gary's mod apartment buildings at that window. So yeah, so this is the apartment. Pretty nice. So yeah, here's a nice painting of the Chekada Tetra Air 1 subway train. It was supposed to be, that was originally supposed to be the subway train for Prague, but um, the rumor is it got sabotaged, and another thing is that the capacity in Tetra was not too good at the time since they're building T3 trams. So now let's take the hat. We're going to go to Obergeshelevitska. I was like the, I, I guess you'd call it turnaround point in English. Here's a guy who... He's wearing that typical like uniform that they used to wear back in the day, like pre-1989 I would say. They might have wore, worn later in the 90s, but I think that after the revolution, uh, they stopped wearing this. Over here you can see the subway doesn't end here anymore. Over here leads a tunnel to the new end station, Nemozinsamoto. David Scott was the last station between the years of 1978 and 2015, so this wall is not here anymore. Over here you can make a schedule, and here is the train, the HS, or also known as the A1709 train, made by Mijushinsky Mashal Story Zone between the years of 1973 and 1976. Uh, I'm going to be calling this company Metrovagonmash because that's what it's called now, and more people are familiar with that name now. So this is a Metrovagonmash A1709 or HS. You, we're gonna peek in through the window to see how the interior looks like. I mean, it's really beautiful this game. I'm gonna say this right now. It's amazing how this looks. Even the physics are great, and it's like insane for how early it is in the development. Uh, another interesting thing is about these trains here. So these trains all have the identification number of, or coaches have an identification number of 1,083. What is it? It has interesting history actually. Yeah, 1,083 was a part of the last HS train to be in service on the, on June 29th, 1997. And it's now a part of the historical train uh, with the other coaches of, of 1085 and 1084. So there's the cabin. We got to turn it on over there. It was already on, so I accidentally turned it off. The map only goes to the Malestrand Scout for now, so we're going to put Malestrand Scout on the destination board. And yeah, uh, that means that this demo or like tick thing is three stations long. Here's a beautiful interior. I mean, when I saw this in the trailers, I remember just looking at like how beautiful it is. Here you got destination signs from the year of 1997 when this train ended its service. As you can see, I would say nothing much really happened since 1997 in Proxy. The expansion really slowed down in the 21st century. Here's another version of that map. So we're going to make our way to the cabin and get into Davidska, or previously known as Leninova, uh, pre-revolution, like from 1978 to 1990 actually, because that, in 1990 the stations got renamed. And so this simulator is actually, I'd say it's based in the 70s and 80s, like uh, information board wise. Another thing that tells me this is that I bet this is based in 78 at this moment. Uh, because the information boards have destination, or er, the destinations on information boards are David Scott and Namiya Sumido. Those were the two last stations of the first section of the A-Line from 1978 when this line opened. So here we are arriving at David Scott. I'm going to stop here. It's not a great stop. Uh, i got to move a little forward because back would be looking at the station. And we're going to explore this station. I'm going to do this in all the other stations as well, just to show you how beautiful the simulator is. And make sure, I mean, like, I'm doing it right now. This is totally worth, uh, uh, worth getting at this moment. And you'll be supporting the creator while he's working on it. So yeah, this station is, I mean, I drive through here every day when I go to school. And uh, I think it's pretty nice. It's not like typical like 70s product design. But the uh, interesting thing is that on the A-Line, it's kind of like a rarish design, not really rare, rare, but like 
All, most of the stations on the A line between Herchenska and Zhilevskeho are all like three tunnels with the two tunnels on the sides being the being the like where the train is where the trains are and the tunnel in the middle is like where the exit is for the passengers to leave with pillars in between these tunnels oh see you'll see what i mean later here's the security office i think it's this is a pretty cool feature like you can go inside the security office the second half of the station is pretty much the same as the second as the first half is just there are escalators and on the other side are stairs. So I'm gonna make my way to the train and we are gonna make our way to Kharchanska. What is the second station second station out of this demo? Ukončete prosím výstup a nástup. Dveře se zavírají. So, so there you got to hear the announcement. They can't use the official announcer because of like um, copyright. So yeah, uh, we're gonna make our way to Herchenska and uh, we'll see you there. Right here's a brake marker. It starts slowing down there. You can see that B between the tracks. And here's Herchenska, a very like I'd say orange station. It has that old older style lighting here you can see on the left you'll see what the newest style lighting looks like in Monstrad Scott so you're gonna stop and I'm gonna show you around there we go perfect like there's a perfect stop right there you can see the screen and or like the security cameras that actually are live the security cameras do work so here's a beautiful train and we're gonna make our way towards the middle. As I said, these stations are made like out of three tunnels, or like three tunnels, that's what I call it, three tubes. Here's the first one where it's one, sta one platform, the middle is the exit, and the other one is the other platform. Here's the, one of the exits, you can't go up, there's a, an invisible barrier. Here you can see the destination signs right there. On the left you go to Namis Meter, on the right you go to Davidska. Oh, here's the other platform, so you get to see. We're gonna show you how the station looks like without the train. I mean, this simulator is beautiful. Just look at it. Look at the attention to detail. On most subway simulators, this is perfectly clean. Over here, they got the trash in the track. Uh, I mean, in real life, it's not that bad. But yeah, the attention to detail is perfect in this simulator. So far, it will be better as we go on. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna make my way to the train. And uh, we're gonna make our way to Mostranska. I'm gonna let you listen to the train accelerate into the tunnel a little bit, and then I'll tell you about some history. Ukončete prosím výstup a nástup. Dveře se zavírají. Příští stanice Malostranská. Yeah, so some plans in history. So plans are for this game to complete the first section of the A-Line for now and to eventually add the A171 train. Everyone knows what that train is. I mean, the most popular subway train in the world, most likely. And uh, some history background to the HS trains are that these trains were being made between the years of 1973 and 1976. And uh, they've served the Prague subway between 9th of May 1974 and 29th of June 1997. They only served on the C line, which is interesting because this is an A line simulator. These trains never served on this line, like regularly. Like this train will appear, the historical train will appear here occasionally. So here we're going to turn off the cabin, 
because there's nowhere to go right there. You just, the tunnel ends for now. So here's Mostranska. I mean, this is a nice station. Over here, this station, a lot of people use this station to uh, go to the Prague Castle through Neruda Street. And this station's very green. <laughs> like, I guess you can, you can see. This station also has the newer style lighting, as you can see around the ceiling. Pretty much it looks similar to the Rechenska one. As I said, the station between Rechenska and Jelovskio, they pretty much have the same, like, base design style, just different colors. I, I really like this station actually, I like to take pictures of old trains in this station. Here you can see like porta potties and a bunch of tools back there. There's another nice attention to detail right there, like they're working on it, you can see. I make my way back to the train and I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna link down below the project page and Go down there, click on it, support the project, and try it out this game. I mean, it's awesome. It's literally perfect. And I want to thank all of you for 400 subscribers. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a great day.